What can I say, folks? It's five o'clock somewhere. Hey everybody, welcome back. Yes, baseball is pretty much over. My uh, team has another couple games, the championship game next week. I'm waving cars around because I am very happy, very grateful. Carrera has sent me quite a pair you got there. Um, I love these cars. It's great. These are the uh, VW van and the pro car from Carrera. Um, they've outdone themselves with these two cars. Uh, I'm not going to put these guys on the track in this video. I'm just going to talk about the fit and finish because, oh baby, have they laid on the detail at an incredible price. These are both Evo cars, as you can see. Look at that dramatic light. Look at all the charisma. I'm telling you, folks, this car... This car hits differently. Why? Um, first of all, they really nailed the body on this. But the thing I wanted to really highlight in this video, the value proposition we have going on here. Look, if you're a hobbyist like myself, I mean, is this car for you? Yes, it's for you. If the speed of the car without a magnet bothers you do whatever you want change it change the tires first do a little sandage i mean how can you fault this car in any 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 way except maybe if the performance isn't up to what you want this car is so smexy i can't even stand it <laughs> usually when someone makes a uh, an orange car there could be a problem because of the finish on the car. Because if they don't underpaint it, um, the, the orange just kind of, or the plastic just kind of bleeds through. You get a little bit of uh, translucence, I guess you would say. I don't know, what was that the right? Probably the right word in any case. They've obviously done some underpainting on this car. This guy, I'm going to show you again. I know you already saw it. I'm going to show you again. It's fantastic looking. It is absolutely amazing. This guy is going in the permanent collection. This, it goes without saying, this thing is crazy cool. I do love me, and I know I've talked about this a lot, guys. I don't care. It's my channel. Talk about what I want. Oh, wow. Just like a, uh, a support vehicle, a little fun thing. Fun. Remember fun? <laughs> Does anybody remember laughter? Um, to have this on the track, it's, it's just a joy. It is a joy to look at. It is, even if all you were going to do with this thing is just have it on your desk, you'd just be able to enjoy this thing forever. Again, the paint on this, the tampo printing, is it? Yes, it's tampo printed. So it's got the got the really seamless look about the livery on this thing. Look, I, I don't know if all of the technical whatever's on the van, and there are a lot of folks out there, Shotgun Dave would probably be the first among us to be able to tell us if this was in any way incorrect, wrong. Is it, a, is it an affront to VW-ness? Boy, I kind of doubt it. Um, is the livery correct? Boy, it's hard to say, and, you know, really, I don't give a darn. It is absolutely gorgeous. It looks like a real little van. They've done a great job with this. And then again, especially at the price, we are looking at a huge distance between Carrera's stuff now and pretty much everybody. Couple that with the fact that, you know, the complaint that people have about the uh, the heavy, the bodies being too heavy. Look, these things are the most durable cars you could possibly imagine for kids, for, you know, uh, uh, casual uh, drivers, not even racers. So you're looking at a really high quality 
good running car in the best sense of the word that, I mean, forget about it. It's over. There, there's no, there's no one in this category anymore. It's just Carrera. Their price 50 ish or below for, uh, either of these cars make them just, uh, frankly in a class of their own there. I said it. Have a good day, folks. See y'all again soon.